Today, we are learning how to create Gantt charts in Excel in few very simple steps. Let's Excel. In order to follow along and learn the technique better, you can download the Excel file containing the sample data, the link to which I will be providing in the description of this video. So here is the sample data that we need to create a Gantt chart in Excel. I have already done some of the work. For example, the status column is simply the resultant by applying this percentage on the number of days. Also days remaining is simply the difference between the status and the number of days allotted to each task. In order to create a Gantt chart, I will select the first two columns. and the last two columns, then go to insert tab and under chart group, I will select a stacked bar chart for this purpose. Let me expand it for your better understanding. First of all, let's hide this blue series, left click on it once and then go to format tab, shape fill and click no fill. All right. Now, our tasks are not in correct order. They're upside down. In order to fix this, right click on it once, click format axis, and from the bar on the right, select categories in reverse order. All right, that being fixed. Now we need X axis at the bottom, just like we usually have. So right click on it once, then format axis and under labels, select high, and this will fix the position of X axis. Now, our dates are not in the proper format. These are simply numbers. In order to correct this, I have two options. I can fix the format in the data and it will automatically reflect in the chart or I can leave the data alone and make the changes in the chart. So I will explain both of these techniques one by one. Let's adjust the format in the data and see how this is done. Select dates, hit control one on the keyboard. And from the list on the left, I can select the pre-formatted formats for the date like this, or I can also make my own by going in custom option. And here, let's say I want day and month only in the chart, press okay. And this will fix the format for me in the chart also. But what if I don't want the data to be adjusted and only want the chart to show the proper format of the date. So let me undo this once and right click on the X axis, click format axis and under the number tab, again, I have the same options. I can select the pre-made formats for the date like this, or I can also dictate my own. Click add and this is done. See the f dates are showing in a proper format in the chart, but the same has not been adjusted in the data. All right. One last thing before I call it a day, my chart is starting almost in the middle. That is probably because Excel has automatically detected how, what should be the scale of X axis. I can adjust it very simply and easily by right clicking on it once and then format axis and adjusting the minimum bound. So as my data is starting like 43,337, I can have it like this, press enter, and now this is much more pleasing and understandable for me. Getting rid of the chart title 
if I don't need, and also of the legends. I can also change the color of the Gantt chart if I want to by selecting the series, left click on it once, go to format tab, shape fill, and mm, let's go with this one and change the gray color into something like this. So green color is showing the percentage of the task already completed and yellow is simply telling the number of days remaining for that task to complete it. So there you have it, a very simple technique to create Gantt charts in Excel in few very simple steps. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future content and see you in the next video.